for icons. Folder icons allows you to make your iPhone's folders look a little like this. As you can see, there's absolutely no folder itself surrounding the icons here for the music folder. So it's pretty cool. That is among other things that you can do here. As you can see, my Spotify and remote app are in there just like normal, but it looks a little different from the outside looking in. So let's head over. I'm going to show you some of the settings for folder icons here and the settings app. Once you install this, you'll get this settings panel here. And then you have the global settings. You can enable or disable the tweak outright. And then there's the remove all badges. And then below, you have some interesting folder uh, properties here for music, utilities, productivity, and games. So each of these are going to influence a specific folder named uh, music or productivity, etc. So here you have the various settings. You can remove badge. Uh, you have a, a custom icon that you can enable with the icon name here. Here's the actual custom icon. This one comes with, you have one icon that comes with uh, folder icons. And you can put other icons in this directory here, the private var mobile directory. And then you have, uh, let's see, remove background, which you saw, remove shadow, which you saw. Um, so about five different settings that you gotta have for each individual folder that you can assign um, to photo icons. So let me just show you with everything off how this works. I'm gonna respring. There it is, that's a normal folder. You're, you're used to that by now. Um, so this is the normal folder without photo icons enabled. So now we're gonna get real crazy, folks. We're gonna get crazy. We're just gonna get insane. So let me show you uh, some of the tweaks that we can enable here. Let's actually, let's turn on the custom icon. And then of course I have the icon name um, for social. Um, and then we're going to just respring and bam, there you go. So this is a social icon. I assigned it to the music folder. It doesn't really make sense, but you know, you can do that. Of course, you can add your own app icons in that specific directory that I showed you earlier. So you can get creative if you like to. So let's go back and check out another setting here. Let's disable that custom icon. That doesn't really make sense. Uh, let's enable the remove background. But let's keep the remove shadow off. So we're going to keep the shadow in this instance. And as you can see, there is a shadow there on that icon. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better here. Let's see. There it is. There's the shadow. Uh, you don't have the actual background, but you have the shadow. So it looks a little weird. Let's try another setting here. Let's go back to our settings panel. Let's go ahead and turn on that remove shadow. And now let's turn on remove badge. There's no badges here, so it doesn't really matter. But you also have this respring option whenever you make any changes. So you can tap that respring. And there we go, folks. Let's check it out. There it is. That's how it looked right from the outset. Let's zoom in. There you go. And there is our music folder with, you know, heavily modified properties there. Now, one little interesting tidbit that I want to show you guys here is if you rename a folder, once you have this enabled for that specific folder, if you rename, say, music to, I don't know, music two, uh, and then you try to get back to your settings panel, you're going to have some problems. There's a little bug at this tweak here. Watch what happens. Um, look, did you see how it just crashed there? And your setting panel just continues to crash. The only way to really fix that is to rename that folder back to music because you specified music uh, for photo icons. So if you don't do that, you're going to have that problem. So I'm going to rename that back to music. And now we should be able to get back into our settings. And this, of course, applies to any folder within those four folder properties, the music, productivity, et cetera. So just want to keep that little tidbit in mind. That bug is there, and I'm sure that the developer will update this to fix that bug. So that is Folder Icons, folks. It allows you to modify the look of your folders. Let's head over to City and let's check out uh, the 